I want to start by saying this one thing. As KCIC and as KCFD, we, we are not actors per se in forestry. Yes, we do have foresters. Yes, we've made some investments to demonstrate and to learn certain lessons, but we don't know this sector in terms of getting our finger in dirty the way that you do. And so we have a great appreciation of you, and we're looking forward to hear from your experiences so that we're able to enrich each other from your personal sharing of your businesses. And therefore, my appeal to you is irrespective of your business, small, large, young, old, wherever you're in this chain, please feel free to take this opportunity to share with us and enrich us of your experience. My name is Benjamin Barwa. I'm currently managing the GJ program. This is the Green Growth Employment Program at KCIC. My name is Hilda Baraza. I am the manager for policy and sector insights for Gatsby Africa's um, Kenya Commercial Forestry Program. My name is Steven uh, Mainakiyama, and uh, I'm currently working with Kenya Forestry Research Institute as a research scientist. Uh, the reason we are having this boot camp is to get uh, a deep dive into these businesses, just to get to understand um, what are their key needs. Uh, to do this, uh, to get to know this, we are uh, focusing on uh, conducting a business diagnostic, uh, which will be able to inform our team of uh, analysts at KCIC on the key areas that they do need to focus on. We will be looking to support these businesses in business advisory, uh, technical assistance, uh, access to information, access to facilities, and also around policy advocacy. I'm here to learn about the engagement that we'll have with the KCIC and Gatsby Africa in, uh, in regard to the development, the development of the company and uh, to also to, to be able to propel it to the next level in regard to commercial forestry aspect and also uh, to network with people Gatsby Africa, we've, we've been in the commercial forestry space for the last um, four years um, and we bring on board a network of um, expertise, technical expertise, being able to connect um, businesses to the right um, to the right technical support. So if, if you're thinking of your production systems, how do you improve productivity within, within your businesses? Are you using the right technologies? Do you know where to source these um, technologies from? Um, and to be able to support you to really find your space within the commercial forestry industry. For the 12-month incubation period, I'm really hoping that I can network with the, and get to meet partners that we can collaborate in some areas, that I can um, get uh, networks that will lead me towards larger markets, especially in the export sector. We have had uh, time and again, uh, the government making it very clear that uh, the way to go is to increase the forest cover of our republic, which is currently way below the international uh, minimum level of uh, 10%. And so if we look at some of the strategies the government have uh, advocated, it uh, remains that commercial forestry, which is being driven by a market approach, may become one of the greatest uh, uh, puller towards uh, us realizing that 10% cover. And so any effort that is bringing uh, and supporting uh, commercial forestry, uh, to, to me then it is a good effort. And the second thing is that uh, the role that uh, commercial forestry uh, can uh, possibly play in the lives of our people. Remember, we are talking about a market-driven approach because commercial forestry is a market-driven approach. And so tied now to the business models that will be developed in the name of commercial forestry, they have every possibility of making sure that we put money into our people's um, pocket. We are talking about uh, uh, small-scale farmers out there who have the land, and only what they have been waiting all these years is a business model that makes use of their land in, in a commercial manner. And so it is uh, a program that has got uh, two, two objectives that can be achieved at the same time. 
that is meeting our uh, forest cover or tree cover target, at the same time uh, helping to eradicate poverty amongst our people. My vision is that, uh, first of all, I'll be brought on board through technical assistance, through advice, uh, benchmarking my, 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 my business idea, and trying to fix myself and get finance to get my product to be value added in the region, in the northern region. My expectations from KCIC and GASP is that you just help us, the tree nursery production people get markets, get certifications, and maybe market our products minus the middlemen who have always benefited on our behalf. Because I've done this for the last eight years, but in fact, those people who come as middlemen are the people who benefit a lot. Like for example now, in the last time, I saw the Minister of Environment in, on TV saying that there were no enough seedlings in Kenya while we had them. I believe that you people you are going to take us far. You people you are going to show us the way because from today's teachings, actually I've learned a lot and I believe that after the three days time, I'm going to come out a better person, a better woman, a better entrepreneur. The commercial forestry sector is one that really presents uh, great opportunities in terms of uh, growth. When we look at efforts that are being played in the forestry sector, uh, we have a lot of efforts being focused towards uh, government forests. Uh, we have other efforts going towards private forests, but with this partnership through KTC and GATB, we are looking at how we can work with entrepreneurs to be able to support them across the various forest value chains. At the end of one year, for the businesses, apart from getting them investment ready, um, we want these businesses to feel empowered to act as voices within their own in their own space in the in the forest product value chain. So we have um, businesses that are from the seeds and seedlings, having those businesses being able to speak and to actually have the agency to say these are the gaps and challenges that we've been facing within our sector. How do we connect um, the private sector needs to what the public sector can support? Because the private sector can only thrive when the public sector is providing the right kind of support and creating the right um, enabling environment for them. So being able, one, for these businesses to be able to demand for the right business environment to be created by the public sector. That's that's one of the things that we hope um, to be able to see out of, out of this particular cohort. And I think um, the, the second thing is, as, a, as an organization, really look at how businesses can and how different sectors can have an impact in transforming the the economy and, and getting the right, um, you know, getting the ball rolling in terms of economic growth and getting the sectors to be, you know, resilient, to be competitive. And we hope that these businesses that we're incubating for this particular year will be able to shift that needle forward in terms of how the sector grows. It has to be an organic growth and when, to be able to see these businesses, um, you know, support uh, different, um, employment opportunities both directly and indirectly to be able to really um, have an impactful um, contribution to the GDP of Kenya. The reason that we want these businesses to be able to get to understand uh, their business models is so that they can be able to have a clear visual representation of their businesses. By this, uh, these businesses can be able to know how they're able to create value for their customers, how they're able to capture value for their customers, and also how they're able to deliver this value for their customers. We also want to challenge these businesses to be able to think uh, in the long term and to be able to see uh, the opportunities that come across the various value chains that they are operating so that they're able to develop an optimal business model and from this, uh, we have uh, enabled them and assisted them to design growth maps, which they will be able to use to implement the new innovations in their business models. And uh, from this, they will be able to pinpoint uh, key times as at when the different uh, innovations will be implemented. I may only humbly utter the words of the CEO of KCIC that uh, 
these are the men and women who can really transform the commercial forestry sector. I believe in, in, in entrepreneurship and, and I believe in the ideas that uh, they have managed to generate and uh, uh, gone through the several stages of uh, you know, analyzing those ideas, screening those ideas to a level where they are confident with the ideas or the business models. I, I'm, I'm, I'm really uh, very much excited to see now those particular business models going through the whole stage of now, uh, you know, being tested in the market for some of those who are very at the early stages of, of, of starting up or, or to those who are looking forward now to penetrating the market that is increasing their market share or those who are now even keying uh, the idea of um, diversification because some already have got a product which has already hit the market very well but they have idea of uh, another sort of business line you know a diversification and so I, I am excited that in the next 12 months we're gonna see and this this I hope it will come we're gonna see the 28 selected clients really maturing. I wish to appreciate the, the, the organizers KCIC and the Gatsby Africa because of coming up with such a noble idea of trying to, especially in a sector that uh, has been neglected. The commercial forestry sector plays a big part in the development of our GDP. So I'm excited to be part of the change that is uh, upcoming. My takeaway as uh, an entrepreneur, an agribusiness person, is that I need to approach my business in a structured format. I need to put down on paper my business plan, I need to put down on paper my goals, I need to put down on paper how am I going to achieve this, what will be my first steps and the consequential ones. And that will form for me the growth, the growth plan for how I'm going to go about uh, growing my business uh, to, to increase my production levels, how I can interact with other partners, uh, how I can involve the local communities. Uh, that is all going to be captured in what we have learned over the last three days and uh, come up with a model that suits my business. When I see now this opportunity, the KCIC is bringing on board, then I feel I will employ more people directly at my store and go down. At the same time, the harvesters all over northern Kenya, which will be over 10,000 households who are going to collect those products, they'll benefit. I would advise everybody to plant trees, uh, whether it's in your homestead, whether it's a commercial uh, project. This commercial project is the best option if it's possible and it is not expensive. Uh, it entails, um, initially of course there's a cost effect, but the benefits of 10 years down the line outweigh whatever costs you're going to put in initially. I first want to thank the Lord so much for everything that KCIC and Gaspi Africa has done. We've been here for the last three days and it's like we've been here for a year because we've really exchanged ideas. I've known where I had been going wrong in my business. I've exchanged ideas with people from outside. I thought I was alone in tree production, but I've just found that we are many. It is a good thing that you people are doing. This is the first time I'm knowing that such a thing exists in Kenya, whereby you can bring people on board together from different entities. We exchange words, ideas. You're such a great team, if I can say. Thank you so much for what you are doing. And I believe that as I live here, I'm going to be somebody, I'm now reborn. I'm now going back to my business, knowing what that I have, I have a team which are actually crawling me through everything that I'm going to raise up. I'm very grateful to Gatsby. I'm very grateful to KCSC and for the training that they are providing to us, the support, the incubation period, which has a structure and the partners that they're giving us to work with us, the mentors. Um, it will, I believe it's going to be excellent for all of us. So thank you very much and we're very grateful. We're your one-stop shop for all sorts of technical advice. When you think of from the nursery side all the way down to production and how you access markets. So take advantage of it. We're here to support you, find us, call us, um, whatever you need um, in terms of, of technical support, in terms of 
you know the right kind of of knowledge or information or that can help you improve the productivity of your businesses that can help you to think um, about how you position yourself in the market it can help you to connect the dots with the public sector help you to engage with public agency engage with county governments engage with the ministry find us take advantage of us we're here to support you this incubation program is is one of the most brilliant ideas by the ceos of this uh, organization because um, we are talking about 12 of, uh, 47 counties of Kenya. For you to make impact, unless you really work with the Kenyans who are, who are in those counties, you, you as one single organization, it would be impossible. So it was one good idea uh, to come up with that particular incubation program and even um, the accelerator program, because some of the clients who mature then they will now go to accelerator program and eventually also to alumni program where they will now become like a, you know um, advisors to, to upcoming to, to those who are going to be selected again in the in the future years into incubation program so they never went wrong and i believe uh, the, uh, i can only say thumbs up to these two organizations thank you to all the participants for the three-day boot camp that we had at Nyeri. Um, Thank you to all the entrepreneurs who travel from various uh, parts of the country. Thank you to the Gatsby team for also assisting in facilitating this event. And also thank you to the KCAC team who um, played a role, a key role in enabling this uh, event to be a success.